What's going on guys, it's Carl here back with another episode and today we are unboxing the craziness of Techtober. You can see in front of me from up top we have so much epping tech to get through. It was essentially smartphone season, we've got eight in front of me. Whew, today is gonna be the biggest unboxing haul that I've done on the channel. And every month I try to hook you guys up with some sort of giveaway. Last month we gave away an iPhone. This month, even though it is Techtober, we've got a lot of smartphones, I'm hooking you guys up with something lifestyle related. So uh, most of you know I'm a bit of a sneakerhead. I like to collect shoes. You guys usually ask what I'm wearing here on YouTube, especially over on Insta. I usually partner up with StockX to get all my rare and exclusive kicks. They've hooked me up with my Supreme Pack, my wallet, and of course just some stuff around my place also to kind of fulfill my inner hype beast. But the rules for this giveaway are super simple. They'll hook you up with 450 bucks that you can spend with their app. All the info is listed down below in the description, the necessary steps. Just be sure to sub to the channel, smash that little notification bell so you're up to date when my next video drops. That's when I'll announce the winner. And of course, leave a comment on your favorite lifestyle or even smartphone that you saw on today's episode. And I will announce that 450 bones is going to one of you peeps to buy essentially whatever you'd like over on StockX. So let's clear all of this goodiness out of the way and get to each of the items that we will be looking at today. So the phones that came out first this month were the Google Pixel 3 and of course the 3 XL. You can see that I've got the two ones that I initially unboxed. A lot of people have been bricking on the 3 XL for having that big and oversized notch, but I just think it's something that people need to complain about. I honestly don't mind. I've used it for the past month almost. Expect my full review coming for this guy. The 3 on the other hand is the perfect size. I just wish it had a better screen resolution. But the one that I wanted to unbox, it's the one that I got a bit later was the not pink. This guy was my favorite from launch, maybe because it had that good old orange side button and curious to hear your thoughts, which color you prefer. I know that the not pink is very slight, very millennial, and maybe it's just one of the most different and unique smartphone colorways that we've seen this year. Moving on to two devices that came out just the next week after the Pixel 3s, this was the Huawei Mate 20 and Mate 20 Pro. I was of course out in London for the launch and I've used the Mate 20 Pro as a daily driver for around two and a half weeks and it has just been an absolute beast. One of my favorites this year for sure, by far, the camera is the king on this guy. It is so versatile, you can go all the way from ultra wide to five times zoom and it's just nuts the different kind of shots that you can get with this. The guy that I haven't really checked out and I just took out of the box is the Mate 20 just because I've been so swamped. It even has that good old screen protector which we will take off on camera. And this guy's actually slightly larger than the Mate 20 Pro. It's got the fingerprint sensor on the back, it's got a smaller notch and just slightly lower specs. And next off, coming to a device that I actually got super late. I know a ton of YouTubers have already reviewed this guy but this is the LG V40 ThinQ. And it's actually the first cam, speaking of the Huawei phones, that did come with a triple lens system on the back. There's nothing that really wows me about LG phones anymore. Maybe that's why they just get lower interest. After that, we had the iPhone XR, and this kind of matches the color scheme of today's episode. I do have, of course, the product red version. And this guy might actually be the best phone that Apple has kind of announced this year. I know that we've had the XS, those things were super expensive. This guy starts at 750 bucks and has almost every single feature that the XS has, except for, of course, the OLED screen on the front and the dual camera on the back. Same sensor, you're just missing the second focal range. And if you're not a fan of any of the colorways, you can always throw a good old D-brand skin on it to make it whatever you'd like. You can also see I've got a dope camera green one on the next device, which is the OnePlus 6T that just came out in New York City. And you're just getting so much value for a smartphone and not to mention it's the first time they're coming to the US with T-Mobile. So I'm sure these guys will sell like hotcakes. That was the smartphones next off. I know this guy is a bit older. It came from last month. It's the Apple Watch Series 4, which I'm wearing on my wrist. But the new thing that I did pick up this month was a new band. It's kind of just my new fave that I've been rocking this month. 
I also picked up the new Google Chromecast. You can stream all of your favorite things, YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, etc. And last but not least is the Google Pixel Stand. And I've already unboxed this guy and it's just my favorite tech accessory that's been living over at my place now. It's over in my living room. And I do feel like a rebel every time I say throw my iPhone and just something that isn't Google on it. And it's just a dope new accessory that looks good and fits perfectly into my place. That has been the crazy, massive Techtober unboxing haul. I know a lot of the stuff that you've seen, but it just shows how many of the phones that I still haven't checked out because I've been so busy this month. Remember, you can win a $450 shopping spree over on StockX. Just make sure you follow all of the instructions down below. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode and just remember to hit that little notification bell so you know you've won some sweet swag and I will catch the rest of you in one of my next episodes or vlogs. Peace.